Congratulations on planning to apply to a Cal State Fullerton graduate program. This tutorial will walk you through the first of a two-step admissions process. First, I will show you how to apply to the university using Cal State Apply. First, let's get to the application by typing into Google Cal State Apply. Click on the first link provided that says Cal State Apply, CSU, California State University. Welcome to the Cal State Apply webpage. Notice that the URL is www.calstate.edu forward slash apply. Now scroll down and towards the bottom you'll see that you have different options. If you're applying to a graduate program such as a master's or a doctorate program, you will click on graduate. If you're applying for a teaching credential, then you would click on teaching credential. For our purposes today, we'll be clicking on Graduate. When you get to the Graduate page, select the term for which you are applying for by clicking on the drop-down menu. Then click Apply. To create an account, click on Create an Account. Proceed to fill out your information, and once finished, you can click on Create My Account. Congratulations, your account is now created. Click on Continue. You will be directed to this page to complete your profile. Click on Start your application. You will then be directed to this page where you will be able to select the programs to which you want to apply. You can start by choosing a campus name, such as Cal State Fullerton, and it will provide you with a list of programs currently open. For the purpose of this tutorial, I will click on Accountancy. Keep in mind that you cannot apply to multiple programs at the same campus in one term. However, students can apply to other programs at different campuses. Now we will select on I am done, review my selections. Notice here that it shows the programs you selected as well as a deadline for the selection that you have chosen. Now we will click on Continue to My Application. Notice that there are four sections. The first section is Personal Information, the second Academic History, followed by Supporting Information, and then Program Materials. In order to submit your application, you will have to complete all four sections. Let's start with personal information. As you can see, there are seven tabs that need to be completed in order to complete section one of this application. Continue on to biographic information. Keep in mind that the red star indicates required field. Please select a value that best describes your U.S. citizenship. AB 540 applicants should select none. When you have completed Section 1 of the Cal State Apply application, you will be directed to Section 2 for academic history and colleges attended. 
Start by entering the colleges that you have attended. Under Colleges Attended, enter all the colleges that you have attended, dates of attendance, and degrees earned. For this Cal State Applied portion, you do not need to input transcript entry, GPA entry, or standardized test, but you still have to opt out of each section to get all three check marks. Under transcript entry, you can click, I am not adding any college transcripts. Under GPA entries, click add GPA, and then click, I don't have a GPA to add. Under standardized test, click I am not adding any standardized test. Even though you are opting out of these items, please keep in mind that you will need to submit official transcripts to the Office of Admissions. If you attended or are attending Cal State Fullerton for your undergraduate degree, your transcripts should already be on file. Some programs may require official or unofficial transcripts by either submitting to their department or uploading onto Section 4 of this Cal State Apply application. Test scores, if required, may also have to be submitted to the department or to Section 4 of this application. Once all four tabs are done, let's click My Application to complete the other sections. Now let's move on to supporting information. You do not need to provide any supporting information. Opt out to complete this section. Under Experiences, click I am not adding any experiences. Under Achievements, click I am not adding any achievements. Under Statement of Purpose, to opt out, you will type NA or not applicable in the box provided. Even though you are opting out of these items, please keep in mind that your program may require you to submit a personal statement, resume, and or other documents directly to the department or to Section 4 of this application. Save and continue. Continue to next section. You will be directed to the fourth and final section of the Cal State Apply application. As you can see, all four sections of the Cal State Apply application are now in green, meaning that all sections are completed and you can submit your application. A quick note on program materials. Some programs may require that you submit materials into this section. This particular program does not require any additional documents. However, some programs may also have tabs here at the top indicating a section for documents or a section for questions. Make sure that all those sections are completed in order for you to submit your application. Now that all sections are complete, let's click Submit Application. Notice that the green bar is completed for the program that you are applying to. Also, you can notice the application is ready for submission and the total fee. Click Submit. There is a $55 fee for every program that you apply to. This $55 fee has to be paid for before you can submit. Proceed to fill out your information and then click Continue. Once you have completed your application, you can check the status by clicking on Check Status. Congratulations on applying to the university. The second step is to complete any additional program requirements and or applications. For more information on program requirements, visit the Cal State Fullerton Graduate Studies website. On graduate degree programs, you will find information on our graduate programs as well as contact information for graduate advisors. Graduate advisors are faculty members who are available to assist prospective and current graduate students. Thanks for watching our tutorial on the Cal State Apply application.